Drone warfare is going to be a thing of the future. That is for certain. We know already that there are so many drones out there that they're becoming more and more prevalent in our daily lives. Most people are unaware, though, that they exist or what they really are. I'm going to go over these very quickly. There's a lot of information to cover, and I'm going to respect your time and go through this as quick as possible. I want to note that it is no longer just the air that the drones are in. It is the land and now the sea. Let's go in very quickly here. The Navy's amazing ocean-powered underwater drone. And they're talking about how they want to have the underwater to be patrolled by drones for warfare purposes. And basically, it's just talking about the Navy's uh, goal to have this long endurance transoceanic gliders harvesting all energy from the ocean thermocline. And uh, one more line from that. Basically, they want a glider, a roller coaster like path for up to five years so they can, you know, defend the country. That's what they want. They want basically this to be the military's advancement in an area where they don't have enough billions of dollars already in. I will go on very quickly. Google's shaft robot dominates Pentagon contest. So Google is getting into the robot game, that's for certain. And they are spending billions of dollars acquiring companies and using their uh, political might as well as their, uh, you know, all their purchases and this stuff to dominate this system of robotics and drones and one of them in particular is obvious the self-driving car that takes the pictures of your house and mine for the uh, Google Street View so this is obviously uh, you know has been going on for some time now and it's in our faces but many people don't even realize that these cars are driving themselves more often than not so it's not just uh, you know in this one example here it's a test run this is actually uh, you know, going on and there are self-driving cars out there. This is a drone. That's what this is. Let me go on very quickly. Autonomous drones and the ethics of future warfare. This article is talking about how autonomous drones are going to be the future way to kill our enemies. And what I'm talking about here is autonomous drones. They do not operate under human influence. So normally the predator drone, for example, they have somebody in uh, some station somewhere in let's say Arizona and they are bombing the Middle East by remote control. This is an autonomous drone. They act according to a predefined uh, method or message. So they're going to say, okay, kill all bad guys. So it goes out there and it's going to kill all the bad guys. However, what does it define as a bad guy? How does it determine who is bad and who is good? This is a problem that is very obvious to see how this could be damaging to the future. It is pretty obvious to me. I don't want this. This should not be in existence. There should be no autonomous drones. Drones enough are bad, but autonomous drones are out of the question. Google has gone from being this search engine to going on to so much more. I, I don't understand how they went from being a search engine to going to where they are right now. It has gone way, way too far, and this is very dangerous what they're doing. Now they're going into this whole mystery barges that uh, appeared out of nowhere. It's very funny that they can just go up onto the uh, edge of the water and start building uh, something without letting anybody know and then nobody gets in trouble. They're allowed to do whatever they want because they're in the pockets, they're in bed with the politicians. One in particular, Google's tax avoidance is called capitalism, says Chairman Eric Schmidt. And this is what happens when you're in bed with the politicians. You don't have to pay taxes. You could build barges everywhere you want. You can have autonomous drones driving around the streets, taking pictures of everyone else's, stealing their information with, uh, you know, hacking into their Wi-Fi. This has been a case. Nobody got in trouble. They apologize, of course, and that's all that happens, a slap on the wrist. They're allowed to do whatever they want. There's going to be drones flying overhead, underwater, on land, everywhere we know, and it is going to be one day where we look around and wonder where the hell did this come from if you like this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe